Hello, my dear student. Today we will talk about area of parallelograms. Okay. First of all, you need to know that to find the area of parallelogram, multiply the measure of the base and the height. So, if that the parallelogram, this side is called base, and this line represents height. First of all, let's know the base. The base of parallelogram can be any one of each side. So any one of this side is the base, okay? And the height is the distance from the base to the opposite side. So the height is the distance from the base to the opposite side, okay? Now let's know the rule. To find area of parallelogram, it's equal base times height. So area of parallelogram equal base times height you need know that the letter a represents the area of parallelogram and b represents base h represents height okay okay habibi here he want from you find the area of each parallelogram so let's see the first question we have here he gave you this picture, so we want to find the base and the height from that. Well, like we said before, the base is any side of the parallelogram. So if we look carefully, you will see this side is 20. So the base here is 20. And let's look for the side, for the height. It's the, the, the distance from the base to the opposite side. So the height here is 11. First of all, to, to, to get the result or to find the answer, you need to write the rule. So, area of parallelogram equals base times height. Well, let's replace each letter of that with its number. So, that will equal, the base here is 20, the height is 11, so the area equals 20 times 11. Well, how we can make 20 times 11? Well, we have 0, so put the 0 in the answer, then make 2 times 1 equal 2, 2 times 1 equal 2. So, 20 times 11 equal to 120. You get it? You sure? That's a great. Let's see the next one. Okay, try to think about it before we answer together. Okay, first of all, let's write the rule. What is the area of parallelogram? Area of parallelogram equal what? Well, area of parallelogram equal base times height. Well, where is the base here? Do you think that the base is 11 or 7? Super, the base will be 11. And the height is 7. So, the area here will equal 11 times 7. Okay. So that will be 11 times 7 equal 1 times 7 equals 7 1 times 7 equals 7 so the area here will equal 77 square meter okay you get it so area of parallelogram equal 11 times 7 that will equal 77 meters square okay let's see the next one First of all, tell me the rule. So, area parallelogram equal what? Come on, tell me the rule. I'm waiting for your answer. Super, I can hear one of you tell me. Area equal base times height. That's a great. So, if we look carefully in the picture or in the equation that we have here, you will see that he gave you two numbers. So, which one of that represents the base? 7 or 3.5? Of course, 7 represents the base because it's the side of parallelogram. So the base here will be 7. And the height will equal 3.5. So to find the area, we will make 7 times 3.5. 7 times 3.5. Well, you can get the result in this way or, or you can write it in horizontal way to get the result. So let's make draft together and let's get it. 3.5 times 7 as we know when we make multiply we will start from from once so 7 times 5 
equals 35. So write 5 carry up 3. 7 times 3 equals 21. 21 plus 3 equals 24. And don't forget we have a decimal point after one digit. <coughs> so in the result we will put the decimal point after one digit. So that will equal 24.5. So the area here is 24.5 centimeters square. And that's because we we work on area now, okay? Let's see the next question. Miss, it's a new question, it's hard. No, don't worry, it's so easy. The only difference between this question and the other question that here he gave you in written way. Okay? It's so easy, don't worry. Let's read it together and you will you will see that. He asks you to find the area of parallelogram with base 13 yards and height 21 yards. So the base here is 13 and the, the height is 21. Well, first of all, let's write the rule. Area of parallelogram equals base times height. I guess by now you already said the rule, right? Okay, alhamdulillah. So now let's replace each letter of that with its number. So, the area will equal 13 times 21. To get the result in easy way, let's make the graph and get the answer, 13 times 21. As usual, we will start from 1's, okay? You must start from 1's. So, here we have 1 times 3 equals 3 and 1 times 1 equals 1. When we finish the first digit, we'll make plus and put zero in the first place. Now we have two times three equals six, and two times one equals two. So three plus zero equals three, one plus six equals seven, and we will put the two. We don't have a decimal point here, so the area will be 273. Okay, you get it? That's a great. And now, Habibi, we finish our session. I hope you understand the lesson. And I guess you already said the rule because it's so easy, right? So, Habibi, bye, and see you next time, inshallah. Bye.